For as long as mankind has walked the earth, the dream of transcending the confines of our mortal being has been passed down the generations. The breakneck speed of technological development now seems to be on the cusp of granting freedom from disease, disability, and even death. L'homme a forcément, sans doute toujours voulu être immortel, euh, mais la, la dignité de l'homme, ça a été précisément d'accepter la mort. And some are willing to give their all in order to defy our natural lifespans and our physical capabilities. So the top scientists are saying a year from now, we're going to have something that remar will remarkably extend our life. Maybe 50, 100 years, 150 years. Could be a year away, could be two years away. I think for sure, okay, within the next three to five years, we will have something that will remarkably uh, extend our lives. Yet it remains unclear whether these innovations will be a blessing or a curse, should they realize their potential. Proof is always a strong word in science, in technology. You know, any technology, when it's ambitious and pioneering, always goes through overcoming obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And the only so-called proof that one might have, the nearest thing to a proof, is the intuition, the gut feeling of the experts like me, who are looking at the details of what has already been done and what needs to be done, and you just have a sense of how difficult the remaining hurdles are. But beyond practical concerns is the fear that we might erase our humanity in the process of trying to enhance it. Available now on Video On Demand.